So this is going to be my little sort of lockdown project. I've uh, always been interested in playing the guitar. I did have some guitar lessons a long time ago now and used to play in a little group but uh, not very proficient. A lot of classical guitar and Spanish guitar but yeah this just caught my eye really. I've been watching some videos online guy playing a three string cigar box guitar and then I stumbled across this really apt box on eBay which I thought I just couldn't resist to be honest. Lovely little box. Solid wood box. I think it's got a plywood bottom but yeah it should work really great as a base for a little three string guitar. Obviously <laughs> the old Corona cigars <laughs> very apt for this lockdown so yeah that's going to be the body of the guitar. I've found this piece of hardwood in our scrap wood pile. Lou's dad's uh, kindly donated this to the project but it, as you can see it's got some absolutely gorgeous really close straight grain no defects in it at all it's a nice big chunk so we'd be able to carve the neck shape out of this uh, more than long enough for what we need and, and plenty big enough so we're going to probably mill this down plane it get it to our final dimensions we only want our neck to be sort of inch and a half wide or 40 millimeters wide we're going to be double thickness at the heel where it goes through the box of the guitar and then come down to probably about three quarters of an inch thickness on the neck and then we'll round over we'll carve the back of the neck make it nice and smooth so it's nice to slide up and down the neck when we're playing and then i've got some bits that i've just purchased from a guitar accessories shop so let's just see what we've got here these are going to be some of the bits i've got some uh, little tuners obviously to uh, tension the strings so I've got some nice little tuners I've got some antique sort of bronze corners because we're going to put some strengthening in the corners of the guitar in the box and then these will just give us a little bit of added style and a bit of protection on them corners really so I'm going to do that and then I'll put a screw through there and we'll put some corner blocks in the box just to strengthen the box a little bit I thought they'd look quite nice yeah they look pretty good wouldn't they and then also as well as this being an acoustic guitar I thought we could uh, electrify it so I've got a, a little piezo here which this will pick up the vibrations from the strings and the bridge and then there's a little volume pot so we're going to have a little volume control on the guitar as well and then just a regular guitar jack we can plug a lead into that plug that into an amplifier and then we can have a bit of an electric guitar put some effects on it as well so that's going to get mounted in the neck of the guitar but right down underneath where the bridge is going to sit so all the vibrations from the strings will be transmitted through the bridge and through that little piezo that'll pick that up so we're going to put that little electric kit in there as well uh, managed to pick up a really cool little volume knob um, check that out look <laughs> it's quite apt I know it's a bit morbid but the old corona at the moment with the old virus and that I thought that'd be quite cool for the old guitar that'll sit on that'll sit on the old volume knob stupid little thing it was only 99p and then a set of strings um, the low strings so the thicker strings so the, the the more bassy strings so these are going to be tuned GDG so going to be an open G chord and then obviously as we come down the fretboard we'll just be able to bar up the frets and uh, and have all the open chords so it's going to be hopefully the plan is going to be really easy to play um, just to strum out a few tunes, you know, won't have to uh, do anything too technical to be able to get some music out of it, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. So I'll bring you down to the pad here and show you what I'm going to be doing for the neck design for this. So let's bring you in a bit closer. 
Okay, so the idea for this cigar box guitar, we basically will have our cigar box. We're going to create a, a neck which will be an inch and a half wide and about three quarters of an inch deep. When it gets towards the guitar, it will come down to the full depth, so there'll be a little bit of a heel there. And then as it goes through the box, it will be a lot deeper. And then I'm going to have a little bit sticking out the back of the box, the end of the neck. So the neck's going to be continuous all the way through, because that's going to be the strength of the guitar. The box is really just for acoustics. And then we're going to put a little hinge on this end of the box, screw it into the end of the neck and then that's what's going to hold the strings. I'm going to have a little floating bridge on there that the strings will go up and over and then at this end of the neck I think what we may do, because we've got enough wood here I may angle the headstock back at a small angle like that with obviously with the uh, tuning pegs in Um, and then we've also got, I've got some of these nickel frets. So down the neck, we're going to be cutting into the neck and installing the frets as we go down the guitar. So we're going to have to be doing that as well. So quite a bit to get on with. I mean, the first bit is going to be this neck. This is going to be where the bulk of the work is. So we're going to have the headstock sort of angled back, maybe I've over exaggerated that. Length of the neck is going to be the heel and then the piece that goes through the actual cigar box. And then what we will have to do as well is where it goes into the box, we will have to cut away some relief here. just so that uh, it's not constantly touching the box. It's only touching the box at the uh, two extremes, if you like, the box lid, and then it'll allow the lid to resonate, you know, so we can pick up that sound. Um, and then underneath where the bridge sits, that's where we're gonna put that little piezo there. So with the string tension, obviously, on the neck, that vibration of the strings is going to be transmitted through the bridge into that piezo and then probably put the input jack on the end so we can plug it in, plug it into our amp. So this neck hopefully is all going to be one piece of solid hardwood and that's going to give the little guitar quite a bit of strength. Right, let's get cutting down this neck. Right, so this is a piece of quarter sawn timber. Hopefully you might be able to see the rings there in a sort of curved pattern. So it's this very close, almost sort of vertical grain, which is what we want to use for the fretboard here. Now at the moment, this piece of timber is two and a half inches by just over three inches three and a sixteenth. So we want to get this down to inch and a half square. And that's going to be the piece that goes through the cigar box. So I'm going to cut it to length roughly. I'm just going to cut a three foot length of this 36 inches or 900 millimeters. And then that's what we're going to use as a blank. So I don't have to work with too much wood. And then we're going to do some rough cuts on the table saw to get it to rough dimensions and then I'm going to run it through the planer to bring it down to exact dimensions and then I know that it's going to be parallel and square. <laughs> Thank you. 
holes and then I've cut this piece out of it and this is inch and three quarters square at the moment lovely straight grain in there see that really beautiful nice and tight and close it makes this bit of wood's going to be super strong perfect for a guitar neck this is our fretboard this is where we were laying out all our scale lengths on this side so these are the two good surfaces and these are the two sawn edges so you can see these are the two edges that we're going to plane in the thicknesser now I've got this lovely bit of fretboard here now it's just under four inches wide so if we cut this down the middle we could actually get two guitars out of this so rather than waste a bit I'm going to literally cut it down the centre and then see if we can uh, utilise it for another one maybe in the future in there at all. Lovely. Make a world of difference with something like this with working off a really nice square true piece of wood to start with. Okay so this is what I've got laid out on the neck. This little mark here will support the back end of the top of the box. This little notch here will support the piezo on the bridge. So that will support the middle of the guitar body. This little ledge will support the front edge. This is an eighth of an inch. This is two eighths of an inch or a quarter of an inch. So there's a slight back angle on the board. Cut in here for the neck. This is I think what they call the heel. And then we're three quarters of an inch all the way up to the nut and then a 15 degree cut back for the headstock. I'm going to use a number of different tools I think to cut this out because there's some quite tricky cuts here. Okay, so there we go this is the bit that's in the box so we've got a little bit of relief cut there that's the thickness of the box lid and then it channel a bit deeper so it doesn't touch the lid this is where the bridge so this needs to touch the lid of the box that's where the piezo is going another bit of relief there and then this little ledge at the back which is where the back of the box is supported so 
if we offer the box up you can see there that it's touching there touching at the bridge and touching at the back so the neck of the guitar is going to go right the way through this box so we've got to find the center to start with so that's half a millimetre under eight and then the neck is 40 millimetres wide so 20 millimetres either side of that square that off and then we can open the box up and cut that out with our little fret saw so we need to just remove all of that on both ends I'm just going to remove these hinges because it will just make working on the box a lot easier I may not even put them back to be honest once I've put the corner supports in to stiffen the box up I don't think I'll need these hinges the box is going to get screwed together on those corner brackets so it won't need uh, anything else to hold it together I'll keep hold of these just in case but I don't think I'll need them Okay, let's have a quick run through of where we got to now this is obviously the fretboard that we selected earlier We've got that ready for gluing up it's cut to the right length and this is where we are with the neck I've just taken a jigsaw and I've just cut this profile on the back of the neck wanted to slim down the neck to three quarters of an inch ready to be rounded over and then slim down the headstock to half an inch because so obviously it needs to be that thickness for the tuning pegs to go through so the next stage now is from this break in the heel here I want to round over this edge all the way up to the headstock and then the same over the other side flip it over round over this bit and then that will do the bulk of the work and then the rest of it's really hand shaping and sanding after that to get the back of this neck really nice and round and smooth so we'll get the little palm router out we may have to do this in a couple of passes with these round over bits these are riding on little ball bearings so they'll follow the contour of the neck and just round over that corner
stick this neck on. I'll just use a few of these quick clamps. This is a very thin piece of veneer, so it's not going to take much clamping force. Spread this glue as evenly as possible. My uh, tape line is where the nut is. See how that goes. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of the fretboard. I'm going to try and spread this as evenly as I possibly can. So, see how we go. Right, I've got a bit of board with some tape on it so it protects the face. So put that on there. I've got a bit of scrap wood to protect the neck. Okay, so end of day one on this lockdown build. I've got the neck all shaped, fretboard all glued on. Bottom end of the neck where it goes in the box is all shaped. Ready just to have the piezo put in there. And the hinge on the back. And then over this side of the workshop. So I've cut some corner blocks out of the same hardwood that we're using for the neck for when we screw the box together to form the guitar I need something to screw into for those corner braces so I just stuck a bit of glue in there with these four blocks let that go off until tomorrow and then that will just give it some extra support so the neck's been in the clamps overnight let's just uh, get it out and see how that fretboard's doing Obviously I left it slightly oversized so we can sand this back so it's exactly flush with the side of the neck but that looks really stuck really well, so strong. Totally flat, straight as a die, actually really good. Right, I've got a bit of sanding to do now then. So what we're doing now is a little bit of a lip on this fretboard here. So I just want to take it down as close to the neck and then we'll do some final sanding just to get it perfect. So just using this little plane just to take off a tiny little bit until we get close to the neck. never want to rush these things you can always take more off but you can't put it back on a 
All right, we're getting close, I think. Okay, so this is the bottom of the box. We had these corner braces clamped in here. Glue should have all gone off in there now. It's just to give that box a little bit more support and then obviously I've kind of got something to screw into when we come to fit the top. Now we've got to fit the electrics to this little guitar. Piezo, there's a volume control knob there and the input output jack there. So I've got this really cool volume control knob, skull with like rubies in the eyes. So we just need to drill a hole there just to fit the volume knob. Got a little block of wood under there to prevent any tear out. Masking tape on the top, hopefully that will prevent any on the top. Or a sharp wood bit. Right here is where the pickup is going to sit, a little piezo. So we need to make a, a little small recess there, only shallow, just to sit that in. And the best thing to do that with is a force and a bit. I've just marked and punched the centre of that, so we'll take that over to the drill press and just drill that out. That position there is exactly 23 inches from the nut position so that's where the bridge is going to sit It. We'll cut a channel for the cables, pop a little bit of hot glue in there, and that'll be fine. I've just laid out the strings on the headstock here. Now there's going to be, because it's only three strings this guitar, there's going to be one tuner on this side, and then there'll be two tuners on this side. And the way that I've laid this out, these three lines are representing the strings. I want them to come over the nut as straight as possible onto the tuning pegs. So a little bit unconventional maybe, because one of the pegs may be turning backwards, I don't know, but I'm gonna put one of the pegs here and that string will wrap around it in that direction. I'm gonna put another peg here and that string will wrap round in that direction and then the last one will come inbound just a little bit as much as I can and still be able to turn the handle of course and then that string will be wound round in that direction and then it won't be dead straight but because it's furthest away it will be fairly straight as they go over the nut. So 
I need to keep that at that sort of distance because I still need to be able to turn it obviously so I can't bring it right in otherwise I won't be able to spin this handle so I'll get it in as far as I can and then that minimizes the lateral pull on the strings then These tuning pegs have got a little bushing that comes with them. So initially I had to drill a hole from this side with an 8mm bit which matches the size of that bushing or slightly under so there'll be a nice tight fit. Obviously I only wanted to drill so far so put some tape on there to mark the depth. So drilled through this side first of all and then drilled through with a 6mm bit which is the size of the pegs drilled right the way through to the other side so I've got the pegs mounted on there now and what I need to do is just put a tiny little pilot hole in because this wood's quite hard and the screws are really small so I've only got like a one and a half millimeter drill bit again with a bit of tape on there I just want to drill a little pilot hole for the screws. Now I'm not going to fix them in place yet because I want to finish the neck first with some varnish or stain or something. I haven't decided quite what I'm going to do yet. I may put just a clear lacquer on it because I quite like the look of this light wood in contrast to this fretboard. So I may just give it a few coats of a clear lacquer. So that concludes most of the building on this little guitar. I'm really pleased how that's come out so far. In the next video we're going to be applying some finish, we're going to be cutting in those frets and then putting the strings on and hopefully we'll get a bit of a tune out of it. I know this is different to my normal videos I put out but obviously during lockdown we all need to find a little hobby that we're interested in to pass the time until we can get out and travel again. Let me know in the comments section below what you thought, hope you found it interesting and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers.